It has been a while since I last played Destiny. Into the Light just came out, along with the brand new Onslaught mode. And I have made what I believe to be the best Hunter build for Onslaught. This build is also great for all PvE activities, so feel free to use it outside of Onslaught as well. Getting right into the build, we are using Void with Deadfall as our super for abilities. We're using the Marksman's Dodge and the Void Wall Grenade. Personally, I love using the Void Wall Grenade, but if you prefer the Vortex, you can use that. However, I do believe it is weaker and it has a very long base cooldown, whereas the Void Wall's cooldown is kind of in the middle. But if you want a really short cooldown, you can go ahead and use the Scatter Grenade. But it is not a lingering grenade like the Void Wall and the Vortex, so I recommend the Void Wall. For aspects, we have Stylish Executioner and Vanishing Step. Both of these aspects will allow us to basically go invisible all the time. Now getting into the fragments, we have Echo of Cessation, which I think is very important. Finishing an enemy will create a burst of void damage, making nearby enemies volatile. This will also push them away and kind of stun the enemies, allowing you to get away after using your finisher. And also works really well with Stylish Executioner. After killing these volatile enemies, you will become invisible. Next is Echo of Domineering. The reason we're using this is because we're using the Wave Splitter. One of the Wave Splitter's perks will suppress enemies with sustained fire. And of course, it gives an extra 10 discipline, which is very good for this build. And then we have Echo of Reprisal. Final Blows when surrounded will grant super energy. Pretty self-explanatory there. And then of course, Echo of Starvation because it gives us Devour whenever we pick up an orb. As I said before, we are using the Wave Splitter for our weapon. For the heavy weapon slot, I would recommend something that is good for taking down Tormentors. In the primary slot, we will either be using an unstoppable weapon or a barrier weapon. For our exotic armor, we are going to be using the Orpheus Rig. The two most important parts of this build are the Wave Splitter and the Orpheus Rig. The Orpheus Rig will allow us to get our super faster. We would get about 50% of our super as long as we can tether a big group of enemies. This won't really be a problem since there are a lot of enemies in Onslaught, but you can still waste your super, so be careful to not use it at the end of the wave. Try to use it at the beginning of the wave, or at least halfway through. If you do that, you should be able to get half of your super back every time and then throw a grenade in there, and you will pretty much get most of your super back, if not all of it. Now for mods, on my helmet, I am running Harmonic Siphon, along with two Ashes to Assets. After you use your super, it will group all the enemies together, and then you can throw your grenade in there, get all the grenade kills, Orpheus Rig will give you super energy, Ashes to Assets will give you super energy, and you pretty much have most of your super back like I said before. For the arms, we have Firepower, Bolstering Detonation, and Fastball. For the chest piece, you can run pretty much any resist mods. For the legs, we have Insulation, and two Innervations to get our grenade a lot faster. You could also run two Insulations if you would like. Depends if you want to get your dodge faster or your grenade faster when you pick up orbs. And for the class item, we have special finisher, very important, and I recommend using this, you don't have to. Proximity board, it will protect you while you are doing a finisher, not after, but combined with the echo of cessation, you should be fine as it will push all the enemies away. And then of course, reaper. We have reaper, harmonic siphon, and firepower to create orbs, and then we use those orbs with special finisher in order to create special ammo all the time allowing us to keep on using wave splitter and then of course our other mods give us our grenade energy and class ability energy faster allowing us to spam invis and more importantly spam our grenades to get kills that will give us bonus super energy combined with the orpheus rig we will pretty much get our super instantly Artifact mods don't really matter since there isn't really any artifact mods for Void. Pretty much all you need 
are the champion mods. But other than that, that's basically the whole build. Focus on high resilience and then high discipline. Getting those grenades faster will be a big help. There's most likely going to be a ton of orbs, so you don't really need to worry about keeping track of your armor charges. And basically the whole gist of the build is use your wave splitter, use a finisher whenever you run out of ammo, and use your super whenever you can. It's a pretty simple build, but honestly, Orpheus Rig is my favorite exotic for endgame content. For the hunter at least. And you will generate a ton of orbs, allowing your teammates to get their supers even faster. If you pair this with the Well of Radiance Warlock, you can pretty much have wells up all the time. That's pretty much the build. If you think anything's wrong with it, I encourage you to experiment and try to see what you like. Everyone has a different playstyle. If you made it to the end, please leave a like and maybe hit that subscribe button. But other than that, that's all I have for today. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Man. The world, the world in it, the world in it, play. Right. Up, 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 three, two, one. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh the invisible one. I couldn't yeah, even I tether me. the guys in the oh, back. Oh, he <laughs> saw me off the map. Oh no! What the freak? We did not defuse the mine. Wait, what? What? Huh? It's still here. Oh, we did we it! We did it! We did it! <laughs> we did it! Let's go! <laughs>